Rescue, Data and Repair. My name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome to a new video. And today we just do um, a Face ID issue or a Front Flex issue on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I want to show you how to change the Front Flex without losing um, the Face ID. So normally the sensor or the sensor on this flex is paired. So if I change the front flex, I lose face ID. In this case, with the new I2C 6S programmer and the matching cable for um, the device, you can swap the front flex without losing face ID function, without needing to take out the NAND like um, by the JC method. If you do the JC method for these um, front, flexes, uh, front flexes, it's always like you need to take out the NAND, you need to unbind um, the face ID or the front flex in this uh, situation. After that you need uh, to get down the NAND again and then you can pair the new front flex. So you need the JCP13 and you need um, uh, the V1S and you have much more work because you need to take out the NAND, you need to clean the NAND, you need to clean the board, you have heat which you get down to the board, you have always um, the situation that it could be that you have some cold solder joints. Like ever with the I2C 6S programmer you can do that without taking out the NAND and I want to show you how that works now. So in this case we have an iPhone 12 Pro Max and like you see you don't see much. I don't know if you see anything um, in the video. So the thing is the front flex is um, corroded. So I could repair the front flex for sure. And after that um, I had a pride screen again and I had face ID again, whatever. But I want to show you how it works with a new flex. So we just need to um, open up the device. That is something we need to do because we need to change the flex after. So I just remove the screws, just heat up the device for a short time. After that I just lose the screen, then we do an unbind for the front flex and we write uh, the data of the old front flex to the new front flex, then we connect the new front flex and we will see we have a nice working phone again with a bright screen. So um, let's check it out. The ambient, side, ambient light sensor will work again. We have true tone again. So everything is working fine after we swap the front flex. So or we replace the front flex. Okay. So let's see. So device is heated up. So we take our Refab Fox RS50. I just love it and we use it every day here in the company. That's a cheap tool. You get it for about, I think, 60 euro or 70 euro if you have a look at, uh, at the internet. And for that money, it's nothing for, for, uh, for that tool. So we need to take out the screen like this. After that, we just open up these screws here. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe the channel. <laughs> I don't have beer here, Tim. So, and it's about the repair. It's not about the beer at this point, okay? So, what we need to do now is just unlock the screen. It's hard to see for you because we almost have no brightness. So, I just get in the code. And then we need our I2C 6S programmer. We need to connect the device and we need to trust. With this device I already trusted to the programmer before. So we wait until we can see a charging symbol and we can see it. So now we just go to receiver and then we click on backup. Okay, so I hope you can see everything. Perhaps Tim can part here. So I click, I already did a backup before. So before this video, just for check. So we click on backup, yeah. 
and we click here on backing up okay so now you see backup success at the point we have the backup success we just go on exit then we connect the new front flex and we write the data to the new front flex so we have write success and that's all it's so easy so you don't need anything it's just like that and now we can just turn off the device by removing the battery FPC then we just take off the old flex here we disconnect the old flex so and here we can see the new sensor so I don't want to um, to get it into the screen now I just want to get a boot now and to check it with you so we can do it in that way that's not a problem we just lay it like that I is that okay Tim yes, just for a test run I think it should be pretty okay yeah so and now we just reconnect the battery and we reboot the device let's see okay we get a pride apple that's normal at this point that's pretty normal at this point but now we should have a pride screen again even if the device has booted up completely we just wait for that I hope you can see everything and you see here we have a bright screen again so that's totally okay and we just go to the face ID settings what is pretty interesting now and we want to configure the face ID okay oh I need to do it like that I think I will um, I will place I will place the front flex yeah. here you can see it works fine we just changed the front flex the front flex without removing the NAND without doing anything we just removed yeah it's I, I just need to to place the flex um, right into the screen so we will get a nice function but Tim did you see that you can just do this repair within three minutes yeah, well, if you want yeah it was quick so as quick as hell so what we need to do now is just just for you that you that you have some more video time is just getting that flex into the screen and then we can just mount the device back again and we will have face ID function we have true tone we have auto brightness we have everything again with a new flex the only thing you need to to solder is just two points for yes yeah, so we just get it out and the only thing you need to solder are these two points for the uh, for the loudspeaker for the loudspeaker that's everything you need to do you need to solder so we just need to solder down the new front flex perhaps in this way okay so so that is just like you don't need a microscope for doing that I don't have flux here but only for showing you that it works it is enough normally don't solder without flux that is something which I think the people who watch this channel should know so I don't have anything here today <laughs> no tweezers nothing but okay it's okay Tim we just do it like that so you can see you can you can manage this uh, this job you can manage so easy and so fast without having any special tools or anything so I just need to take a look so 
for just getting the cable back to the phone like this and like this and you need to you need to come in here what the heck you need to come in here the microphone needs to be here and we should be fine now are we fine now i think yes yeah looks pretty good and now it's all about getting the screws back and here okay now we can just get the screen back again to the housing so we we have nothing here tim no <laughs> no tweezers nothing only the fat tweezers I, i'm feeling like working 20 years before beginner's place beginner's place yes so now let us just reboot the device just wait 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 if we see an apple we will see i'm pretty sure so i just giving some power to it and we wait here we are so and hopefully everything is already fine and we boot up the device and let's have a look if dr ben can use the face id <clears throat> so auto brightness is here what about the face id so this is fine like this okay face id has been done configure later okay face id is configured yeah so and we can use face id fine again Boom. tim can you see that and what do you say nice it's technique. pretty amazing you don't need to use too much time for things like that okay so chessy method is fine it's pretty okay but it's a waste of time if you can do it like that i hope you liked the video give us a comment subscribe to the channel and um, have a look at all our social media channels like instagram like Facebook, whatever. Thumbs up. I'm out. Goodbye, Dr. Ben. Bye.